Hey guys, Chris Nelson here with Blacktop Racing with another uh, Fiero project video update. This is the Blacktop Racing 88 GT, and if this is your first time seeing one of our videos, stop. Go to our channel, check out the videos, and find the other Fiero video project updates first. We have a ton of different Fiero videos, um, but the project updates, you're gonna wanna see the other ones first. In this video, we are gonna talk about the engine bay. Um, we have the dual throttle body intake manifold that's custom made that a lot of people uh, think is pretty wild and need, in, need, need more info on. People are trying to build their own. They wanna know how we did it. In this video, I'm gonna show you up close and personal everything about what we did under the deck lid. Now, the dual throttle body intake manifold was not designed by me or uh, Blacktop Racing. There was actually several iterations years before we even started screwing around with this idea. Blacktop Racing, formerly known as Topline Group or TLG Auto, um, made their first one about five years ago. And it was basically this design. We sold six, I think, for about $1,500 to $2,000, depending on the options. And the guy who made them, his name's Sean, sorry, Sean, um, he got deployed, he's in the military. And so we we're done. A while later, he got back, he got on his feet, uh, got a place, got a shop finally. And I said, are you ready? Let's make another one. And he made one. Did a little bit different than before. In the past, we actually took the stock 2.8 Holly throttle body and modified it. So one of them had a TPS and the other had an IAC. And we deleted everything else off the outside of the throttle bodies and then handmade the uh, connecting rod between them that makes them both turn together. So he was done with that. I'm gonna do a little bit smarter, a little bit cleaner. And so we actually got Dodge throttle bodies from a factory dual throttle body setup. So the linkage between them is off the original donor car and so are the throttle bodies. So you can see we have one Dodge uh, TPS here and the IAC is actually down here. Um, it's shaved off the factory Dodge throttle body and modified to fit on a bracket uh, between the runners in the Fiero engine bay. Now, a lot of people think one TPS, one IAC, two throttle bodies. How do you do it? Well, I'm not a physicist or an engineer. I have a hard time explaining that. All I can tell you is it works, and it works really, really well. Um, one thing that you'll notice is that there's a huge balance tube between the two manifolds, and I think that has a lot to do with it working. You know, you're not just getting half the air in this side and half the air in this side. It's sharing a large amount of the airflow between them. And then you can see here, there's a lot of adjustability. There's this set screw. And that lets you change how they open together. And there's another adjustment screw here and another adjustment screw here. And all of that adjusts how the two throttle blades operate. So, Really cool setup. Um, the first time we dynoed this intake setup, we made like 18 horsepower and 30 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, but now on this engine, we have the Fiero Store ceramic coated headers, Y-pipe, and full stainless steel exhaust. We have a full MSD ignition system with Taylor cable, eight millimeter spark plug wires, and a Walbro 255 fuel pump. Um, every bolt-on you can do for the 2.8 has been done, so it'll be fun to see what this thing actually makes for power in the future. Aside from the performance updates, we also uh, did some things in the engine bay to make it look nicer. We did this really wild billet aluminum with polyurethane bushing uh, dog bone engine mount. We did the Fiero Store radiator cap and oil cap. We powder coated all of the brackets that come off, including uh, the valve covers. The bracket here is powder coated. We have you know, all the red ignition pieces that looks really nice. So we did, uh, you know, the basics that anybody would do to make the 2.8 look nicer without going too overboard. So when we're at a car show or a racing event and you pop the deck lid, people wanna see, uh, you know, how it sounds and how it works. Let me show you.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to talk about the arrows or how we did anything in the engine bay or see something that you like that you're interested in getting for your car, maybe we can help you out. Uh, visit our website, it's www.blacktop.racing, but we're also on Facebook and Instagram and Google Plus everywhere, so pretty easy to get a hold of. Uh, call us, email us, whatever. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook page, and we will see you next time.